Before starting Surya Yoga, you can do some stretching. Start by rotating the wrist in one direction, bringing the hands up parallel to the sides of the body and arriving at the pelvis along the body. Rotate the wrist in the opposite direction, bringing them to the sides, up and then forward. Next, we're going to stretch the neck, looking to the left, then to the right, three times. Then stretch the neck forward, bring your chin in and bring the head backward three times. And let's stretch the head on each side. So tilt your head to one side and then the other three times. Let's finish by making a circular movement with the head. Tilt the head forward first and then to the right side, backward to the left side and then forward. Go back again in the opposite direction and repeat this three times. Now, make small circles backward with your shoulders three times and then small circles forward three times. Stand up straight, your toes are still together, the feet are touching. Arms straight at your sides with the fingers joined together. Throughout the sequence of Surya Namaskar or the Sun Salutation, make sure to keep the fingers and your toes joined together. The sequence follows a specific breathing cycle. Three breaths on one movement, then five breaths, then seven breaths, and then back to three. No matter what posture you're in, don't move your hands or your feet, don't try to correct them. You simply continue the sequence without moving the locations chosen by the body. This sequence is always done with your eyes closed, visualize each movement and also bring your entire attention on the breath. Position 1. Exhale and empty your entire body of air. Then remain for a few moments without air. Position 2. 
Inhale and join your hands in a Namaskaram position. Take three deep breaths from the stomach to the chest, eyes closed. Position 3. On the last exhalation, lower your hands and following your gaze to the sky and back with your arms stretched, slightly bend your back to hold this position for 5 deep breaths. Position 4. On the last exhalation, raise your hands to the sky, then back down with your arms straight. Bend your chest forward with your back straight, keeping your ears in line with your arms. Bend down completely, bring your hands behind your calves or on the sides of your feet on the ground. Tuck your head in your knees and inhale by bringing your head out, exhale by bringing your head in toward your knees. Seven deep breaths here. Position 5. On the last exhalation, take a big step back with your left foot, keep your hands on the ground flat, lower your left knee, then your pelvis to the ground and raise your chin to the sky. Take three deep breaths. Position 6. On the last breath, move your right foot back to your left foot. Feet together. Make a triangle with your body and the floor. Push off the ground with your hands and arms. Straighten your legs and try to keep your heels on the ground. With your ears in line with your arms, take five deep breaths. Position 7. On the last exhalation, swing your upper body forward and do the plank. Then lower your knees first, then your chin and chest to the ground in Ashtanga position. 7. Deep breath. Position 8. On the last exhale, use your supports to slide your chest forward, lift your chin to the sky until your head tilts back slightly. Push your hips toward the floor, arms straight, contract your legs and point your feet. Take three deep breaths. Position 9. On the last exhalation, in one continuous motion, Return to the triangle position. 
with the floor. Arms and legs straight, the pelvis is pulling toward the sky. Take five deep breaths. Position 10. On the last exhalation, bring your left foot between your hands in line with your left shoulder. Push your hips toward the floor and your chin up. Take 7 deep breaths. Position 11, on the last exhale, bring your foot and right leg into the stork position. Legs straight, chest bent and head against your knees. Inhale, pulling the head out of your knees. Exhale as you pull the head in your knees. Take three deep breaths. Position 12, on the last exhalation, step your right foot back, keeping your left foot in line with your left shoulder. Hips down, chin up, take five deep breaths. Position 13, on the last exhalation, Return to the triangle position with the floor, pelvis up and take seven breaths. Position 14. On the last exhalation, swing the upper body forward and do the plank. Then lower first the knees and then chin and chest to the ground in Ashtanga position. Three deep breaths. Position 15. On the last exhale, use your supports to slide your chest forward Lift your chin up until your head tilts back slightly. Push your hips toward the floor, the arms straight. Contract your legs and point your feet. Take five deep breaths. Position 16. On the last exhalation, in a one continuous motion, return to the triangle position with the floor. Arms and legs straight, the pelvis is pulling toward the sky. Take seven deep breaths. Position 17. On the last exhalation, bring your right foot between your hands, in line with your right shoulder, push your hips toward the floor, your chin up. Take three deep breaths. Position 18. On the last exhale, bring your foot and your left leg back. 
legs are straight, chest is bent and the head goes against the knees. Inhale as you pull your head out and exhale as you pull the head in. Take five breaths. Position 19. On the last exhalation, raise your arms straight up to the sky, following with your eyes and your joined hands, then backwards slowly, arms stay straight, slightly bend the back to hold this position, seven deep breath, listen to your limit. Position 20. On the last exhalation, raise your hands to the sky, then back down with your arms outstretched, then the hands in front of you, join in a namaskaram position. Take three deep breaths from the stomach to the chest. Position 21 and last posture, take a long inhalation, fill up your body with air, hold the air in for a few moments and then exhale.